So I'm finally back from vacation and I ate a lot. Big dinners, big lunches, lots of snacks, lots of drinking. I returned to my old self, how I used to eat. And well, do I regret it? Hell no. I was happy eating like a fat ass. But the results do not look good at all. And I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath. Do you guys see it? It's not as defined. Do you guys see the little belly sticking out kinda? Look how bloated I look and how like poofy I look. There's a lot of sodium. Look, even when I flex, I mean, you can still see them if I really flex, but it feels like my damn spine is about to come out of how hard I'm flexing. It's not like they just pop out naturally but uh yeah look i mean honestly this is probably like a good four to five pounds and before i left i waited 140 now i probably wait 144 or something so today is june 18 monday and i'm gonna show you guys how fast i can lose this little blubber that i gained over the vacation in a week and you guys are gonna be like what and i'm gonna be like yup so let's do this and since y'all want to see how i eat to get shredded i'm not gonna eat a lot this morning because i already ate a lot this vacation so the only thing i'm gonna have is a cookies and cream shake and two bananas of these small ones i bought more of these small ones these small ones are so sweet people I recommend getting some sweet little bananas. And then I have the regular organic bananas. Then I have two mangoes that I bought right here. And of course some tomatoes. So my first meal, protein shake with two small bananas. I was gonna eat the egg, but I said no. I already ate a lot and then now it's time to sacrifice. Always water to mix your protein. Lesser calories, people. Then one scoop of protein. But let's open these bananas and see how good they are because if they're not good looking right now I mean it feels like a damn rock Nah, these aren't good no more Nah, look They're too hard doesn't even come out as a banana. So instead of two small bananas medium banana and protein shake Third meal of the day, chicken with broccoli and a little bit of tapatio. The second bowl looked exactly like this, but with a little bit different things like beans, spinach, and etc. I just forgot to film it, but 
I get these bowls at Stater Bros, okay, in the frozen section. So if you can't cook like me, then go to Stater Bros or Food for Less or Vallarta or any marketplace and go to the frozen section and look for the meals that are healthy. These are 200 calorie meals. If you're starting your diet, I do not recommend you going that low. So what I recommend to you guys is go to the frozen section, and look for meals that are around 500 to 600 calories, even 700, especially if you're starting, and slowly go down. As you lose weight, your body will need less energy, so therefore you could go lesser calories on the meals. But if you're just beginning, no. Don't do that, you will feel it, people. Trust me, and then you'll get miserable, and then you're gonna quit. It's all about doing it slowly but surely. The turtle always wins the race, people. It's not how fast you get there, but it's how consistent you stay. And slowly and surely, you will get the body you want. I'm still watching Vikings. This show is so badass, people. I love it, I love it, I love it. And Ivar, he is an evil, evil, Mofo. All righty then. So today is Thursday, and this is how I look now. Yeah, you see? Now I look way more shredded. Can I say I'm back where I was? Yeah, I could. Maybe a little more retention of the water, but that's about it, people. You see? So when people say when people say that you can't lose weight fast, you can. It's all about the food you eat. Let me give you guys a big tip here. It's not about the foods you want, like, or love. It's about the foods you need. Oh, I want tacos. Oh, I want burritos. Oh, I want a burger. Oh, I want hot wings. Shit, I want all that. But do you guys see me eating all that? Hell nah. Today is my cheat day and I need it because now I'm going to start building more muscle people just for you guys, just to show you guys I know what I'm talking about and how easy this is for me. You know, I like my body right now though. I'm not going to eat too much, but just a little bit more calories because right now I'm pretty good. Like I could maybe lose a little more. But the only thing that's going to happen is my abs will just pop out more, which wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you guys think? Should I start building muscle now or should I get a little more shredded for the summer and then start bulking like around the end of July or the beginning of August? Because that's where I'm, when I'm thinking of bulking up a little bit and increasing my traps my chest, my everything, as a matter of fact, even my penis. I'm gonna be jacking off a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it hasn't worked yet, but you know, gotta keep trying. Maybe something will change.